Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Spider Gwen Marvel Now Artifacts Plus statue from Kotobukiya. That's right, continuing along with their new Spider Man series of Artifacts Plus statues, we now get Spider Gwen joining the ranks. Let's check her out. As you can see, she comes in this gorgeous, fully enclosed box packaging. It's got an image of the statue right there on the front, but I love kind of that blue background that's got panels from the comic book on it. I think it makes for a very bright and striking look to the box. Flipping that around to the backside, we're treated to the artwork that the included statue is based upon, as well as a few shots showing some of the different ways you can display the piece within. So when you open up the box, there is some minor assembly required. If you've ever picked up any of the Artifacts Plus PVC Marvel statues before, then you know what to expect here. Essentially, you've only got a few parts that you've got to assemble, meaning you got to put the head on, you got to put the arm on there, but there's only one way that you can piece them into the slots. Um, so you just got to line up the notches there perfect, give a nice firm press, and you will put these pieces into place. So just like we've seen with the other statues in this line, she comes with a nice round metal display base. It's really, really nice. It's got this pink and blue Spider Gwen kind of emblem there on the top, which looks awesome. And the bottom side has got a nice kind of felt bottom, so it won't scuff up your shelf or anything like that, and it'll hold in place well. So this is a nice metal display base, and if you look at the bottom of Gwen's feet, you'll notice she's got embedded magnets, so that way she will cling very nicely to this display base, and she is ready for display. And she is such a cool, cool looking piece. Continuing the tradition of what we've seen with the other Spider-Man Artifacts Plus statues, she's in a very dynamic pose, crouched really low to the ground. They've even made it so her right hand fingertips are like actually on the ground, which is so, so very cool. And you can see the way that the magnets really help keep this balanced because both feet are up on her toes, but she's staying perfectly balanced in this really cool, very Spider-Gwen-like pose. It's a really, really cool display. And the overall statue is gorgeous. It's a wonderful sculpt, but it also includes a beautiful paint deco. You can see the colors are nice and crisp and clean. You got the bright blues on the feet, the deep black seen on the lower portion. All of the blue webbing is sculpted in on her arms and on the inside of her hood. And I really love how the white portion on the outside here, the outside of the arms and the hood are all this very pearlized white. So they have this really, really nice shine to it. So it makes for a very, very gorgeous display piece. Now what's really cool about this is Kotobukiya uh, included an extra head so that we can change up the way we display Gwen. I've got her here with the masked head on, but if you want to, it's very easy to swap out for this unmasked head. So let me show you that real quick. All you got to do is basically pull that head right back out of socket. Like I said, very, very easy to do that. And then you can just put the new head in its place. It's just the same kind of socket joint there. So give it a nice firm press and boom. Suddenly, we've completely changed the look of this statue. And get a look at that face sculpt. It is a beautiful face sculpt with a nice, very pretty, smiling face, bright blue eyes, and the paint deco on there is wonderful. It gives it a very realistic look, and I love this. It's actually making it very difficult for me to know which way I want to display her on the shelf because while I love her mask, I absolutely love the sculpt and the paint on this unmasked head. So very, very cool stuff, and I love that we have the option to switch her up. So there you guys go. There is a look at the brand new Artifacts Plus Spider-Gwen statue from Kotobukiya. If you get her on the shelf with Spider-Man and the Miles Morales Spider-Man that we already have in this line, it really makes for a great display, and I can't wait for even more Spider-Verse characters in this lineup. So very special thanks to the folks at Kotobukiya for sending her along so we could get a good look at her outside of the box. For more information on Kotobukiya, be sure to check them out online at www.kotous.com and give them a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash Kotobukiya. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more reviews just like this one. Until next time, my friends.